Gentlemen, welcome to the first hurricane debate of 2020. Excellent. Gentlemen, what is the state of the Atlantic and Gulf right now? Well, I'll tell you what, it's never been smoother. Right now, there's nothing, not a zip zilch out there. I know because I saw it. The fake news says there's two storms out there. I looked, there's nothing, not a thing. I know this because I'm the president and there hasn't been a single storm this week since I've been president. I scared the crap out of those storms, just like I did with China. Senator Biden? The coast is clear. Look, barometric pressure is not expected to drop over the next week or so. Therefore, we're safe to move about the cabin. Let me interrupt you right there. In the event we have lost cabin pressure, a mask will fall from the ceiling. Put it on the passenger next to you first. Boy, this guy is so stupid. What is your impression of the hurricane season so far? This year's hurricane season has been huge. This guy's just a clown. Unbelievable. Never in my life would I have expected to see such an active hurricane season. How many named storms have we already had? 500, maybe 1,000. Incredible. Just incredible, the number of storms. Senator Biden? Let me interrupt you again. We're in hurricane season already? I thought it was lobster season. I was going to head to Red Lobster with Jill tonight for our anniversary. They have wonderful chicken parmesan there. Are you serious? Uh, Did you just say okay. that? Okay. Gentlemen, how would you respond to a hurricane that's just two days away? Well, first of all, let me just say I've been surrounded by the brightest, the smartest, the biggest, the tallest, and the best looking scientists in the United States. We have maps, we have satellites, we have airplanes that fly into storms. We've got cones like nothing I've ever seen, okay, that would give us the ability to know where the storm is going at the precise moment that it's going better than any weather station, better than Jim Cantori, better than the Weather Channel, okay? First thing I would do is I would have the smartest, tallest, biggest, brightest helicopter pilots in our beautiful armed services. They would have them fly up to the level of the clouds in these amazing Apache helicopters, Chinook helicopters, and then I would have them just turn sideways so that their rudders would blow those storms clear off into the coast, into the, into the Atlantic Ocean, on their way all the way back to China. This guy's just a moron. Senator Can Biden? Can I interrupt you one more time? Hurricanes are nothing to joke about. <laughs> First thing I would do as president if there was a hurricane two months away would be to plant my favorite apple trees to yield the best crops and increase GDP. Then I'd legislate a way to contain the entire country in a giant coconut. Coconuts have been proven to be resilient to storms of the highest caliber. And who doesn't like pina coladas? Okay, Senator Biden, what would you recommend to the American people while they are going through a Category 5 storm, and what would you expect right now after it hits? Uh, huh, what? Oh, sorry, my, my teleprompter's out of focus. Ah, okay, there we go. I tell the American people to be steadfast in their ways, to hold on to what we got, it doesn't make a difference if we make it or not. We've got each other, and that's a lot for love. We'll give it a shot. Oh, we're halfway there. Oh, living on a prayer. I love that song, too. It was huge in the 80s. It was the best. It was beautiful. No one can sing karaoke to that song the way I can. Anyhow, as I said, I would use those great, big, beautiful, amazing military helicopters and I would blow those storms way off to the shore. That's all we need to do. Okay, it's pretty clear. Okay, gentlemen, last question. We are now into Roman numerals for names storms. What would you name a storm if you could and why? Well, I would name it the biggest, most beautiful, longest name that I could, probably 17 syllables or so, something like Melania, Jennifer Aniston, Angelina Jolie, Veronica, Betty Boop, Beyonce, and the Magical Mystery Tour. Something like that. That's what I would name it. Hey man, why don't you just shut up? Senator? Names can say a lot about a person or a storm, so I would be very sensitive to the needs of the people in the area to which the storm was heading to. For instance, if it was heading to Florida, I'd name it Orangina. If it was heading towards Louisiana, I'd name it Raging Cajun. And if it was heading to a place like Mississippi, I'd sing song like Mam I S S I S S I P P I. Get it? It shouldn't be as hard as changing the light bulbs on your shovel. Am I right? Am I right? All right. Okay. Let me interrupt you right there about a hundred times.
Well, that's why I'm here, for the American people to get stuff done, to make molasses out of strawberries. Look, 